So what's the what's the tenure of your BBP? In three months. Three months. So how it is three months? Uh, so uh, every day consultant has to go to the core user place and ask the question mm -hmm. and uh, whatever the core user explain we have to note it down and prepare the uh, BVP document it will take uh, two months of tenure mm -hmm. See, the, the answer should be based upon what project you have put in your resume, whether you have put a foreign project or MNC project, right? So if you don't have a domestic project in your resume and you say it is three months, that's wrong, right? So just whatever is there in the resume, the question is only for that resume. These questions are not generalized questions. Whatever interviewer asks tomorrow to you is asking questions for you from your resume. No generalized question. If I ask you what is gap, that means gaps from your project. Okay? So okay. What, what documents you prepared, that means everything, what are the questions asked you in the interview, that questions are nothing but from your resume, from your previous projects. That question is only for you, everyone. Okay? So there's, there's no general questions in SAP. Even though we have general concepts, but uh, no, if someone in the interview, if they are asking, where is your flight located, that's for you. Did you attend a kickoff meeting? They're asking you. What is your project tenure? Your project tenure. Okay. So don't generalize any question until unless if it is a, okay, very broad if you ask something. Where exactly you find gaps? Okay, this is a very broad. Okay. But what gaps you find in your project, then that's specifically to you again. So, be prepared with your resume. Your resume will tell you what to answer. So, what you have done on your first day of your implementation project? Everyone, go ahead. Uh, we go to the client place, mm -hmm. and first day, uh, they introduce to the uh, employee, the core users, and uh, they uh, introduce the plant and the office. Mm -hmm. And then we, I visit our plant and the depots. Okay, so Gaurav, this is your question, right? So Gaurav has went to some interview yesterday or today. He sent me the questions. So I'll ask you the same questions. What is OTC? Anyone? What is OTC? OTC is a business. OTC is a business process. Hmm. Okay. OTC is yeah, a business order process. process. Order to cash. It's order to cash. It's a standard business order process. To cash. It's a standard business yes. process. What accounting entry is after PJ? After PJ, what is the accounting entry generated? Cost of goods sold debit to revenue account credit. What is the moment type uh, used at the time of PJ? Six zero one. Yes. Yes. I hope you guys, uh, I told you right, moment I for sure you'll face one question, accounting entry you'll face one question, so two questions have been covered. What are the parameters to determine item category? On the sales document, uh, item uses higher level of item category. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So explain the process. He missed CP. item item category group he missed okay so four four parameters right so sto you determine sto we haven't finished okay what is the t code for output determination for whoever we finished output classes nac yes okay what type of tickets you are handling i hope we, i told you this question right what type of tickets you are handling Never. L2. 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 Okay, so what is the recent ticket on which you are working? I hope I told you this. They will be asking a question what you are doing yesterday, what you are doing tomorrow. Okay, so what, what is your recent ticket? Okay, what are you prepared? That time you can tell that. Uh, uh, I, I, 
so i faced this question and uh, i told the ticket that shipping point is not determined into the sales document because mm -hmm. the user has not maintained the loading group okay in the bucket mark okay that's why the ticket is not determined into the sales document okay so how was the interview what is your view so is the questions from training so, yeah uh, i have almost uh, out of 10 question i will able to give six uh, answer six answer okay inter company st1 route determination we haven't finished for you and output determination also we haven't finished in your batch so let us take out these three questions that is whatever we finish that is today you ask you answer everything right yeah uh, out of 10 i may able to give uh, six questions yeah yeah and i hope i told you guys these all questions What is OTC? What accounting entry? What is the ticket you are solving yesterday? These are pretty, these pretty. are the general questions which are uh, already mentioned in the your notes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So it's good. Uh, all the best, uh, Garo. So let's move on. Okay. What modules were implemented in your project? Blue point modules. Five modules. SD, FI, MMPP, and HCM. Okay, so can you tell me some integrations between SD and FI? SD, FI. Sorry, cancellation account. Reconciliation account is one of the integration between the SD and FI. Yeah. And. Uh, payment terms payment terms payment payment terms the okay. revenue account determination account. we have integration with the sd and fi yeah yeah but i mean before pricing concepts not after pricing before pricing so what documents you prepare in the realization phase which phase the realization phase Uh, sir, user manual documents, configuration documents, dispatch documents. Hmm. Yes. So, what is user manual document? Yes. Sir, it's a step by step process of uh, hmm. business processes of like with screen shots. Uh, 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 it is a uh, kind of a guide. It, it is a kind of a guidelines to the end user. Yes. Okay. Process. And after preparing the user manual, we give to the core user. Yeah. So no good training. No, no. See, as I already told you, for sure the answer, whatever is asked, answer only to that point too. Okay. This way straight. Yes. Yeah. Okay. If I ask you what is user manual, don't tell that I'll give that to the customer. I'll give training. Don't tell these all things. He may ask some other questions based upon that. How many days you have given training? To whom you have given training? So your answer should not lead to a question. That is the first success, right? So what is your role in transporting a request? Basic team. What is cross client? Cross client is nothing. Workbench request. Uh, any configuration customization we do in a one server, it automatically updated uh, in another server. Mm -hmm. Okay. So everyone, I have seen observed yesterday also. Take out that word. Nothing but. Okay. Workbench request is nothing but. So take out that word. That doesn't look professional. Nothing but. Okay. Don't use that word. Nothing but. Everyone. So what is workbench request? You can tell that all. Uh, or the ABAP configurations or developments are saved in workbench request, and it updates into all the clients within the server. Within the server. Okay. See, your grammar is very important. Why? Right? Because you will be talking to customers from US, UK, Europe, right? Your grammar, the way you frame the sentences, is also very important. It's not just clearing our interview and getting into project. It should be so professional. You in the resume also make sure there is no grammatical mistakes. I have one uh, question. Yeah, but very quickly. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So it's like uh, 
so if i'm saying in the resume ki i have completed all my four projects and because i was on the contract so now i'm looking for the permanent position so is that okay or is it compulsory to say that no i'm still working i'm still on some project uh, you should be on project at any time why because if you are not on project they don't uh, offer you better package one thing and they may not show that great interest any time when you go to interview you should be in a already one project or you should working okay don't show it don't show any gap with the current job so if some guys for some reason if you have some gap you can talk to me i guide you okay how to cover up that gap i guide you and people uh, one i tell you one simple example one guy got an opportunity in lnt pune for 9.8 lakh package even though he has two years gap in his sap career and recently one lady neha neha sharma from pune even she got a tcs offer from 10.7 package okay don't worry even though you have one year two year gap don't worry you talk to me i can guide you you will be getting more package than others okay so what is the test case document Uh, it is a document which lists all the possible uh, scenarios to be tested uh, after the configuration is done. We have a test case the, to test how what to we are test testing test how to test, test possible outcomes and by whom it is prepared. What is your team size? Well, it was. What are the number you said? You stick to that. Twelve, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, whatever. It is. So, to whom you have given the training? For the support. So, what was the training duration? Fifteen days. Fifteen days. So, what documents you carried for training? Mm. User manual. Hey, user manual. Continuation. Well, only user manual and configuration log. What is item category? T A X. What is that? T A X item category. So what? T A X. T A X is used for bomb, bomb, bomb items. The bomb header main items. Yeah, header item. X. Can you explain the bomb scenario? What is the sort of bomb? How do you create a bomb material and how do you explode that bomb in the sales document? Can you tell us that? Uh, at the time of creating a bomb material in the material type, we use the header uh, item category as Erla, and uh, when uh, the components item should be LUMF item category. And uh, in sales document, we will uh, use this TAX tax item category for bomb materials. Okay. It will determine that. And how this is how we will create it. So we will not create a main material and sub materials. Adding that in the T code CS01. We don't do that steps for bomb. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We will do that. So steps. all the steps. So what is loading group? What is its purpose? It helps to determine shipping point. Yes. Shipping point determination. Uh, yes. Parameter. So what is product allocation? So to reserve the stock for specific customer, customer groups, and distribution channel. Distribution channel. Okay. So where do you plan for your product allocation? That is our topic now. Okay. So what is R? What is R? Product allocation. Uh, replenishment lead time. It is time required to manufacture the good. Okay. So, what is the material length uh, for a material? For a material, what is the length of the material? So now it's fourteen S four or no? It's eighteen characters. So, see, you are mm. an SD consultant. Mm. Yeah, let me probably. You are an SD consultant, and my question is right for you for as an SD consultant. What is metal length? Stick to only SD. Don't tell S4 Hana. Okay. Then he may ask some more questions on S4 Hana to you. What is material length? What is material valuation? So he'll come up with some other questions in S4. So you are going for an interview only as a SD consultant. 
Your questions are easy to based questions. Until unless he specifically asks you, do you know anything more about uh, metal master in S4 HANA, what changes happened? Then you can dissolve this metal in what you have Okay, sir. Yes, sir. So, what is rebates? It's a conditional Sales document type VOV8. Uh, why? Why you are assigning that? What is the functionality of that special stock indicator E? In IPO so while uh, to reserve that, it is to reserve that. It's it's for the 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 no, not to reserve. Reserve is in the requirement class. Reserve is the requirement class E. This item category is special stock indicator. What does this control? Whenever you are delivering, you should deliver only. Reserve stock, right? Uh, what is the T code to run MRP? MDG one. MDG one. So, what is the T code you take stock overview? MMB. 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 Okay, you want to check some real time stock? Including sales. MD zero. So how the shipping point determines into sales document? What are the parameters? Shipping point determination. What? Uh, shipping condition loading uh, and cream plant. What is sales? <coughs> what is sales line? Sales line is the publication of sales organization and distribution channel. Assignment of distribution channel to sales organization. What is fixed a day in payment terms? Thirty to forty days. Period starts. Particular day on which the payment term starts. It is a day. It is the date at which the customer has to pay back to the company. Okay, so plan is considered from which partner function? Bill to party. Plan. Payment terms? Payment terms is considered from which partner function? Call to party. Pair. Pair. Sold. In court terms? In court terms is party. In court party. In court party. The ship has party. Sold to party. What is material price in group? Uh, it's a group of materials which share same pricing. No. Yes. Material price. What is material price? Group of material which which use the same pricing attribute. Not I guess, no. right? This is for group of group condition concept, material pricing group. That grouping of material for same price is a different thing. Right? Yeah, that is pricing. 
You can say price group B or something, that's a different field. Material price group is different. So, what is the material type uh, you use for semi finished goods? What is valuation class? It determines GL account. Value. It determines GL accounting. the inventory accounting. The plant level GL, GL inventory accounts. What is price control? What is price control? Uh, it helps uh, to uh, determine uh, cost, cost of product. It helps to determine cost of product. Price or it is a tender price. So, see, it was a very major enhancement uh, in the for HANA. This price control. A new concept has been introduced called as material ledger or material valuation. The, coming to MM, this is a very major uh, topic which was added into S4 on a material ledger. Price control. They want to see a real time stock basing upon all the currencies. So, what is safety stock? A result for emergency situation. Stock which is result for emergency situation. <laughs> What is the table for sales document header? What does item division field controls? Take the division from the material master. What is billing relevance? Particular line item, uh, item the category. The the is billing is auto related or delivery related, controlled by item category. Or not related. Whether the item is relevant for billing or not. Billing or not. That is billing relevance. Okay, how a PO is automatically triggered? Uh, we need to check automatically. Uh, we have to maintain the... early data and sales organization. Uh, we have to activate the automatic view and the item category. And then in the view. Okay. Okay. So, what can you contribute to this job? What can you contribute to this job? Uh, being an SD con uh, consultant, uh, I can be part of uh, either an implementation project or a rollout project or uh, a support pro project. So, anyhow, you are an SD consultant and you are expected to do that. More than that, what you can contribute. Right? Uh, I do have an exposure towards uh, ICEP uh, and also. Uh, some concepts related to uh, logistic execution as well. Okay. Yeah, for ALA docs, you can say I can be part of EDA projects and the logistic execution. And yeah. So, apart from SD, you can tell anything, whatever you know. If not, as you're an SD consultant, you are expected to do that. But what more you can offer than others? Okay. So what do you know about the company? Say suppose you go to an interview for Cap Germany. They ask this question to you. What do you know about the company? We will do some research before going to the company. Right. Company. Before going to any interview, for be perfect with the job description what we are thought they are asking. Okay. Word to word check in the job description what they are expecting. And secondly, which company are going for an interview? Have some little research of those, of the company, okay? So why you have chosen SAP as a career?
because uh, I was uh, masters in uh, business management, so uh, that uh, gives me an uh, add-on advantage compared to the other consultants where I have a domain knowledge uh, uh, as well uh, by learning SAP. Now that I know the functional side of the SAP as well, uh, with this uh, I can contribute uh, more towards uh, client success. Okay, what do you more like and dislike about your SAP job? Uh, that is nothing to dislike about this job and uh, every day we enjoy doing resolving issues and uh, Don't you every day challenging Yeah. I'm much more interested in the implementation so I didn't get a chance to get into implementation. That is my intention right These kind of questions your client will ask you at the managerial round to see your interest in working in some projects. Well, because in some companies what happened, first they will assign to some project, but later after six months or one year, they will say that please assign me to some other project. Right? So they want to see your interest. Uh, whether you will stick into this project or not, you will ask me to the project. So someone I know, once you attend some interview, this week or last week, Can you hear me? Okay, someone asked me about the managerial round. Okay. Hello? Uh, Pagesh, you attended some interview last week? Yes, sir. Okay, it's a managerial round, right? Uh, it is still to, to be done, sir. Okay, okay. manager is still pending. First round is done, okay. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, all the rest. Okay, so yes, can you explain your uh, domain experience? What were you doing before I said? I wasn't marketing. So what exactly is marketing? What were you doing in the marketing? Marketing channel sales. Channel sales. Uh, we were getting yeah, clients for the GTS vehicle tracking systems and all that sales. So, yeah. Also, so why do you think they ask this person to understand what's your career knowledge to say to that? Hmm? Whether you are perfect in pharma sales, whether you are perfect in automobile sales, okay? whether you have been exposed to complete sales line or not. So they just want to understand your experience of sales so that you can use that in your SAP job. Okay? So what is item proposal and what's its purpose? Uh, item proposal uh, is a quick way to answer the problem. Actually, it is a new feature. Uh, it is a new, it is a feature which is used to enter quick uh, sales orders. Okay. So how do you pass yeah, it? Customer is buying, then we give them item proposal. I we use PV uh, for item proposal. How do you configure item proposal? That so document have, type we use. So we have a configuration for that, so you can just go to that. But be prepared. VA fifty one. Yeah. What is business data? Business data. Uh, data, data is uh, business data. data. Business data. Uh, business data right, is the right. data which is copied. Copy the from the sales sales data shipping. Yeah, shipping. Just, a, just a moment, Gaurav. Praveen, again, the you are repeating the same thing. Don't start an answer with the, it is nothing but. Okay? okay. Praveen, you, you are doing that. Yeah. Farooq was doing that. Gaurav was doing that. And anyone, practice it. Don't start any answer saying that it is nothing but so and so. Don't, don't start an answer like that. Okay. Yeah. What is completion rule and what is the completion rule maintained for quantity contract? For quantity contract is C and completion rule is when the whole quantity will be target quantity will be referred for contracts and uh, in for completion quantity will be for Okay. 
So what is the partner type for vendor? Why are you are assigning your partner functions to account group? Function into the uh, to get the customer number, not partner function. We assign partner functions to EDP to get the partner functions, right? So, what is the partner function for consignments? SB. SB. What does that mean? Special state keeping partner. Special state keeping partner. What is cumulative condition type and what's its purpose? AU, AU uh, is the cumulative condition type. Okay. Its purpose is to, uh, purpose is to uh, combine the prices of the uh, sub items uh, into the header item, to the main item. Okay. So how a cumulative condition type is behaving like that? Where is the functional control? Pardon, sir? How cumulative cumulation condition type is working like that? Where is the functional control? Where is the functional control which makes cumulative condition type to behave like that? In the condition type, there is a field. Uh... No, 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 no. Yes, you are correct. In the condition type controls, we have a field. What is the field? Cumulative? Yes. Correct. You have read the condition. condition. This is the of that it's making it like a cumulative condition. What is uh, uh, bomb? Bomb. What is the field? The structure scope. What is structure scope? For the bomb. Okay, but what is its functionality? Whether to explode bomb at the main item or the bomb. Right. right. What is value? Well, sorry. What is contract release control? Contract release control. Ex exceeds the contract, then uh, we have to control from here. Yeah, if the, uh, what should be the behavior if uh, the value is exceeding the uh, above the contract value? Yeah, so how system should react, right? How the system should react? So what's the default to execute the pricing report? What's the default to execute the pricing reports? Very important interview question. Very, very important interview question. What is the default to execute pricing reports? V slash? What is this one? V slash LD. V slash so LT. LD. Deferred DAS. I hope you are not going completely through study material, right? This question was there in the study material after the pricing concept with an explanation. Go check it. What is the purpose of account key? And it will determine uh, what should be optional, mandatory, or hide. And it will determine the number ranges for the customer. Can you, can you repeat my question? Sir? Can you repeat my question? Account key. My question account is, key is, is the, the account key for the we get the joint accounts values from that. So where do you create account keys? Where is the menu path to create account keys? Uh, that is in the revenue account determination. We can create, uh, there is a field, uh, account key, define account key. There we can uh, make the new account key. Okay. What is standard base? Standard base? Standard base is from. It is from in uh, condition type. Okay. That means 16 parameters is from in one. Yes. What is condition exclusion? Where do you maintain that? 
to maintain an atmosphere condition hai excellent like in the previous that you know that is in the present that you will maintain that is the condition exclusion means the whatever the uh, condition which will below the uh, that condition type uh, it will uh, eliminate that condition type uh, except the above condition type which is having the same uh, same requirement number will it also eliminate uh, condition supplement uh, no, no 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 what is the t code for infrastructure uh, a, 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 M O zero G O M ni O M zero one O M O one O M O one O M O one and what is the infrastructure for condition update? Ah, S zero six six. Which one is the condition update? Seventy one. S zero seventy one. Ah, is right? Yes. What is the purpose of the structure condition, guy? Structure condition. So why you are assigning condition type to OVKK? Ah, uh, it's because uh, if we assign the condition type to OVKK, uh, the no, no. If you you can change the amount in the amount field will be there. Condition type value and amount will come in the sales document. Where? 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 Line so, item shipping tab. Line yeah. item. Ah, shipping tab. Line item overview. Sorry, sorry. Condition tab. Yeah, uh, yeah. Overview. Yeah. Overview. What is field catalog? Field catalog. In the condition table, we field have field catalog. catalog. We just, that helps to generate the table with the combination of fields. So from where the fields are coming into field catalog? Allow, allowed fields. What is subtotal? Subtotal is stores the value of the condition type into the uh, into temporary tables and fields. Uh, it will help to determine the value with the help of that is uh, alternate uh, calculation type and alternate base type. What is condition technique? Subtotal is separate. Subtotal is separate. Go ahead, Santosh. Go ahead. Santosh, go ahead. Subtotal not in a stored in a JL account. Only printout document is displayed. Used to subtotal. Not clear. Your answer is not clear. Okay. So what is cross selling? What is cross selling? Uh, cross selling when we create the order, it reminds the uh, the, uh, the combine the, uh, the material which can be combinedly sell with that particular uh, order. Uh, in the sales order, any additional product apart from the main product that we can offer to the customer that is cross selling. Yeah. So, what is the purpose of field determine cost? Uh, it will uh, the cost of the uh, What is the difference between general item category group and item category group? So what is item category? It, uh, item category. Item category. Item category control the behavior of the item. Of the uh, line item. Line item. Is behavior in a sales document. Okay. What is uh, enter Q1 number? What does it control? Enter Q1 number. It, it, it restricts the duplication of sales order from the uh, same customer. Uh, uh, no, if uh, if we uh, check, the if we are not entering the Q number, the system will automatically put the Q number as the IPO. Uh, the system sales will automatically the so system will take sales order number as a PO number and that can be a request for the particular sales order right so what does propose what is delivery group delivery group what is delivery group grouping of customers who have same 
kind of deliveries. Uh, grouping of deliveries, not grouping, grouping of customers. Grouping of deliveries. Deliveries. What is transfer order? Your transfer order is required within the plant to move the system from uh, what we say for lo loading it. Transfer order is a document that controls the movement of goods within the warehouse. So, which module document is a transfer order? Which module? Uh, warehouse management. Warehouse management. So, can you create uh, a invoice without a billing document? So, can you tell few sales process which are order related billing? Cash sales, return order, cash sales, and service, service, service item. Cash sales, why it is a order related billing? Because delivery is immediate, that is the reason it is order related. You have a delivery, so no, it's not an order related. It's a delivery related. Cash sales, you are so cash sales is order related. So cash sales is order related. Credit memo, debit memo. Debit memo, credit memo, service. Okay, what is this? Service. It's a return order. Return order is order related. No, you yes, have a delivery, right, in the return order? Sir, but return invoice is created with reference okay. to return order only. Return invoice is created with reference to return order only. Yes. yes. So what is the billing document type for invoice cancellation? Sir, S1, S4. Invoice S1. 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 So how does system show you a button, reverse PGA, in a delivery document, where is the control? The PGA button, how system is showing instead of PGA in returns, where is the control? It's a delivery document category. Document category. What is the What What value you maintain there in the document category? T, T, sir. T, no? T. T. T, T. J is for the PGA, T for the PGR. So, can I increase the yes. quantity? Yes. Can, I, can I increase the quantities at the delivery level? Hello? Can I increase quantities at the delivery level? Yes, uh, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where is the control? Yes. Okay, I don't want to increase then. Uh, sir, the, in, uh, in OVKL, uh, uh, KP, there is a field, uh, I'm forgetting the name of that. We uh, maintain we certain margin, margin 10%, 20%, then we can increase and decrease at the time. No, 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 no. no. Even the in, the the in the customer order. Order. In the customer Customer order. master. In, uh, in the time. No, my question is clear whether you can increase the quantities or not at the delivery time, but I don't want to increase it. Where, where can you control it? You have a field item requirement routine 201 and 202. Item requirement routine 201, 202. You remember anyone? So, uh, it, it is some field like uh, item increment, something. Uh, it's item, some field started with item. Yeah, item. item yeah. Requirement. So how storage location determines into sales document? So storage conditions, plant and shipping point. Yeah. And then, sorry. Is it sure? What is my question? So storage location. location. Can you determine storage location automatically into a sales order? Is it possible? No. No, we cannot determine the sale. Uh, we can determine the delivery, sir. We can't do the delivery. Okay. What are the scenarios you want to perform availability check at delivery level? Uh, sir, in SPO, uh, when you are increasing the uh, quantity in the uh, delivery, in a. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, SPO. 
delivery without order reference. Right. So what is the movement type for intercompany sales? STO, one step process. Six forty three. Five thirty five. Zero one. Five forty four. My question was very clear, but you have not answered that. You told lot of other things. It's not one point forty three. No, that is not the moment type for uh, STO, intercompany STO one step. Go and check. It should be six uh, six seventy one or six seventy three something. It, it 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 is six seventy three. It is six seventy three. Oh, yeah, something. It is six. For the one step, it is six seventy three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, but no one has answered that. Right. So, what is the moment type for uh, third party process? There is no moment type for third party. Uh, there is. There is no moment type for third party. What is item category five controls? What is the schedule line for bomb? Schedule line for bomb. What is the split criteria for deliveries? Uh, shipping point should be same and shipping condition should be same. So and there the are five deliver. parameters. So there are five parameters. It is uh, ship to party, shipping point to route, and uh, delivery due date. Shipping condition. In court terms also. What is the billing relevance you maintain for that? Sir, F and G. F and G. With shipping notification, it's G. Without shipping notification, it's F. That is for Miro, it's F. For Migo, it's G. Okay. Yeah, don't expand the answer to Myro Mike as well. They'll ask you a lot of questions on that. Okay. Yeah. You only say F. Yes. First is F. That's it. Okay. It is a delivery uh, quantity received against Myro or something. If you have that option, just go with that. What is F? What is the um, oh, okay. stock and what is main flow order? What is the difference between both? Nick to a stock uh, is whatever the so, uh, normal stock is. Uh, stock is we are continuously manufacturing the product and storing it and delivering only when the order comes. And make to order we uh, only uh, manufacture when we get a specific order. What is the strategy group for make to order? Uh, uh, Sir, it's 10. Blank or 10. Uh, order. Sorry, 20, 20, 20, 20. 20. 20, yes. What is the T42 grade CMIR? What is it? C code for CMIR. BD51. BD51. What is the T code for assortment module? The value contract? WSB2, sir. WSB2. So why do we have that field, the schedule line allowed in the item category? What is the functionality? Item category is online or not? Get into the sales document. To show the schedule line tab in the sales order. Okay. So yeah. So far, so good. You guys are answering well, but I need everyone's participation. So if possible, if you're not in the office, participate, talk something, okay? Whether it is right, wrong, because if you cannot correct yourself here, you cannot do it later. This is a net practice for interview. Okay, even though you are answering wrong or you don't know something, don't worry. You answer it, I'll correct you. So that you will be perfect by the time of interviews, okay? So we concluded today.
So I'll share you this document to everyone because of Hana interviews. Morley, the guy who has already ready with resume to go to job. Just go through, browse through this document, everyone. I'll show you. Just browse through this document uh, as for HANA software languages. It will give you a brief idea what exactly is HANA and uh, how it's going to help technology, everything. Okay, a basic idea you'll be getting uh, coming to the HANA. Go through this. Later, I may also share you one ex a document which is very close to ECC and uh, HANA contrast. Uh, sir, the changes in uh, SAP SD, hmm. it is also mentioned in this document. No, no. But the changes made it in S for HANA. No, that itself is complete one training or uh, you, it is everything. Again, you need to go through S for HANA. Then only you will be understanding what is that. But this is basics of HANA, how it is going to help and uh, how the S for HANA is. HANA is helping S for HANA. Okay. Just go through this. Later, I will share you closely related to SD so that it will help you to understand and answer better in the interviews. Okay, so let's call it a day today. Go through this video, I'll share you what are the answers you have given, analyze yourself, and for what are the questions you don't find answer, just go through the study material and write that answer somewhere. Okay, these videos are very important. You will share this video with us also. To everyone, I'll share it. Okay. Sir, sir, please, sir, sir, please add my email ID in that. I, I, I do one thing. I'll be uploading this video onto the YouTube. Everyone can watch. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'll upload onto the YouTube. So just you can watch that way because uh, you know, I'm getting. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Nice. Uh, please, sir, please add my resume. Could you check it, please? Yeah, yeah. Your batch resumes are pending. Yours. And, uh, yeah, two, three, yes. yes, sir. I sent it uh, twice and three. Yes, sir. And, uh, yes, sir. and uh, yes, sir. Uh,